We love our lifestyle. The freedom of not having a schedule allows us to meet new people and make friends along the way while making time for all the little things in life that matters the most. But nothing beats exploring areas away from the hustle and bustle where you can just let go and allow your senses to soak up the beauty that nature has to offer. Hi, I'm Monica and this is Darren. With virtually no boating experience, we decided to sell our house and everything that went with it to buy a boat and live on the water. Together with our dog, Captain Kaya, we're preparing to cast our lines and cruise to the warmth of the southern islands. So climb aboard and come with us as we go seeking adventure. How are you feeling right now, Dan? I feel good because we made the right decision. We've turned around, we're, we're headed out. We spent a few days in Pelican Bay, an anchorage at Cayo Costa State Park while we were visiting the Gulf Coast of Florida. Nine miles of beautiful white beaches and only accessible by boat made this anchorage one of our favorites so far. Unfortunately, Hurricane Ian caused a lot of damage and the park is currently being rebuilt and repaired. The Tunnel of Love, I'm sure, is really wonderful at certain times, but because of the hurricane, it looks like a lot of trees, small trees, have been blown over and out. We just can't get through it without scraping up the thing. I worry about the hypalon. Some of these branches are sticking out like like daggers, basically, just not going to push through that with this uh, dinghy. We'll end up sinking back here and then we'll probably be alligator food. <laughs> Hey, did you guys get any tarpon yesterday? Six for 13. Nice. It was a good day. Good. You guys want some dinner? We, we, we'll be... Bring it by. Some sardine sandwiches? Oh, sardines now. Those are the ones we want. Is this the Grand Banks? No, it's a main ship. Main ship. Main ship 430. Do you guys live on it full time? Yes. That's my wife and I. Uh, we have a YouTube channel and a your, yard. To Yacht is what it's called. Yard to Yacht. Look us up Yard on YouTube yacht. and uh, your home TV. Have a good day. Hey, see you guys. Thank you so much. So, Monica, what are we going to do today? So, today we're, uh, we're here at uh, Kaya Costa, and although the park is closed, we're going to go for a walk on the beach and see if we can make it all the way around the uh, the north part of Cayacosta, the island, and out to the Gulf. And it looks like we can, so um, yeah, we're gonna try that and, and see where that, uh, where we end up, it'll be fun. The island did not disappoint, and Captain Kaya loved it too. Although she knows how to swim, she has never been brave enough to jump in on her own. Until now. Or maybe not. She's thinking about it. Almost. And she finally found the courage.
Like the saying goes, the best things in life are free. Just us and a dog on a deserted beach. takes a lot out of you. <laughs> I'm yeah. exhausted. Yeah, so we made it. We made it to the Gulf of Mexico <laughs> here from uh, Pelican Bay. So it, we took halfway on the dinghy and then we walked the rest of the way, but it was a fun trip. I think this, uh, the heat and just walking in the sand, it's just exhausting. You know, you're only gone for a couple of hours walking like that and you feel like you've been trekking all right. day. It's time for a nap. <laughs> I feel like Kaya. I'm falling asleep sitting right. up. It is time for a nap. I mean, why not? Are we on a schedule? No. No, we're not. I can see us staying here for a few days. Yeah, it's very nice here. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that, that they're missing is a, a Publix <laughs> and a West Marine. If they had that, then it would be the place to be. You know what I wish we had? What? A fishing rod. Yeah. Then we could fish. And then we wouldn't need a Publix. Right. It's on our list. Monica and I are always looking for new recipes to try on the boat. So we asked our friend, Firefighter Ray with Firehouse Kitchen, to send us a recommendation for a recipe that we could use on the boat. But first, before we try it, Firefighter Ray is going to show you how he cooks teriyaki chicken. Hey, Darren and Monica, yard to yacht. That marina living, oh my goodness. So, I'm Firefighter Ray from Firehouse Kitchen, and I'm gonna share with you just a simple recipe that you guys can make on the boat. You can make it outside if you got a little hot plate, and it's very simple, feeds a lot, but it's very delicious. Everything we do on Firehouse Kitchen is delicious. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Firefighter Ray, you never cook on your show. The firefighters are always cooking. That's true, but, I'm cooking for you guys today, all right? So, I'm making a very simple chicken teriyaki. All of this is mixed vegetables, and, and I'm gonna fry it up in a wok, okay? All you need is a hot plate and a wok, and you're ready to go, all right? Now, the chicken I'm cooking with today, I'm happy to say, is from Smoke Eater Gourmet Meats. If you go to smokeeatergourmetmeats.com, you can order steaks, chops, chicken, burgers, anything, and we have, and Smoke Eater Gourmet Meats makes a donation to fire department charities every time you buy a piece of meat. So remember, go to smokeeatergourmetmeats.com and you get unbelievable meats. Anyway, let's get back to our recipe. So I've been sauteing some vegetables right here, just getting them nice and warm. You want to put them on a few minutes before you put in the chicken because the chicken's going to cook nice and quick. Nice. Good. So I used a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic. A little bit of Your Boy seasoning. If you go online, you go to Your Boy from Greeny. I love it. I put on everything. And then salt. And then, of course, our teriyaki sauce. So I'm going to put the teriyaki sauce in. A little sesame seed ter teriyaki. Good. And I'm moving it around. Firefighters love to eat. Oh, baby, we love to cook. All right. So here comes my chicken. Look at that bad boy. Look how thick this chicken breast is. This is from Smoke Eater Gourmet Meats. Unbelievable. I'm just going to push that right into the pan. So what I do is I butterfly the meat first, and then I slice it so it's nice and thin so it cooks up even quicker. All right. So, Monica and Darren, you guys traveling all over, down the islands, living in marinas. So this is a great, nice, healthy meal. All right. A little bit of salt, but not too much. All right. I'm going to give you guys a little safety tip right now. So I'll be right back, and then we'll see how this comes out. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip is safety in a flood. The Somerset Fire Department is surrounded by water, and you know in New Jersey they have a flooding problem, especially with Hurricane Sandy. All you motorists out there, if you don't think you can drive through it, then don't drive through it. If you think you might be able to drive through it, then don't drive through it. Most of their rescues are from motorists who think they can get through the water and they get stuck. And then they get engulfed by water and they have to, we have to take out our fire rescue boats and save you. So, 
my fire safety tip today is don't drive through water that you think or you may not think you can get through. I'm Firefighter Ray, and these tips save lives. All right, I thought you guys would enjoy that safety tip because I was sitting in a boat. You guys are on a boat. Lots of boats. Okay, so this is looking just about done. Look how delicious this looks. Oh my goodness. All right, and it's very, very easy. It only takes a few minutes. Once those vegetables get cooked and you throw the chicken in, a little teriyaki, and it's unbelievable. All right, now I know you guys are going to try to make this. I'm going to plate it right here. Unbelievable. Now remember, these are smoke eater chicken cutlets, okay, from smokeeatergourmetmeats.com. And remember, a portion of every sale goes to fire department charities. All right, let's see how it tastes. Are you ready, Darren and Monica? Here we go. Oh. Firefighter Ray can cook. Unbelievable. All right, guys, let's see if you guys can make this. And I will see you next time on Firehouse Kitchen. Oh. All right, so Firefighter Ray from Firehouse Kitchen, here we go. Prepare the meal that you suggested. So far, so good. What I haven't done yet is to butterfly the chicken. And Darren, do you know what butterfly a chicken means? I do not, Monica. I guess we'll have to Google that part of it. I've already Googled it. What that means is that you're going to cut the chicken this way so it becomes nice and, and thin and then I'm actually going to roll it and I think the rolling part is to make it uh, more tender. So here we go. I probably should have a better knife and a, a larger knife. I don't like to cook so that's um, no secret there so I don't have the best tools in the kitchen. Yeah, look at that. And you butterfly the chicken. There you go. So I have cut up the uh, butterfly chicken. And I'm changing things a little bit just because I want to. I don't think there's really a right or wrong way. Hopefully Ray agrees with that. So I'm going to put the uh, teriyaki sauce into the chicken and let it marinate while we are cooking the vegetables. And while that is marinating, I did not find sesame seeds, so we're using sesame oil to cook it in. And the spice that uh, Ray talked about, we don't have that, but I have this Everglades seasoning that we bought when we were in Everglades City that it's kind of like an all-around spice that is good on pretty much everything that we've had it on so far. I don't really know how it's going to be here. I'm assuming it's going to be good. And then some garlic. So this is just about ready and we're going to take this wok recipe and grill it because any kind of cooking inside of a boat gets hot quickly. So we prefer to uh, make all our food on our grill uh, if we can. So that's what we're going to do. And I just bought these uh, cake pans. They work perfectly on the grill. And it's looking pretty yummy and it's smelling good too. So this will be uh, fun to see what the result will be like. We like to do all of our cooking on our grill if we can, but the grill isn't that big. It's perfect for two people, but so we're gonna cut this recipe in half and do half now, and we'll do half maybe for tomorrow's dinner. The vegetables sauteed for 10 minutes, then we put the chicken in. Over a medium heat, we cook the chicken with the vegetables for about five more minutes, and it is done. Now it's time to enjoy it. So what did you think of uh, the process? I thought it was an easy recipe yes. to follow. Thank you so much, Firefighter Ray. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It smells delicious. It does. So let's dig in and see what we think. I'm 
impressed. I think we may have to hit Firefighter Ray up <laughs> for some more recipes. This is amazing yeah. teriyaki chicken. Very, very good. This is a keeper. Mm -hmm. It really is good. So you can follow Firefighter Ray on Firehouse Kitchen along with Yard to Yacht on Your Home TV, now available on Roku. our video <laughs> so we're, we're like in this place this is definitely one of the nicer stops that we've made in terms of like outdoor activity and access to the beach this is pelican bay is, is really nice and the free pedicure was a bonus and just like that another day is gone the sun setting is always a great reminder to make the most of every day. Take nothing for granted and appreciate all the little things in life.